Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to learn how to create monday.com items for new Webflow form submission, which means that as soon as a form is submitted and that is received by you, then an item will be created in monday.com. Here we are going to integrate both these applications in such a way that the trigger is going to be in this automation by Pabli Connect, the form submitted in Webflow and our action will be to create an item in monday.com. Let us learn how to do that. So let us learn how you can create items in monday.com from the submissions that you will be receiving from Webflow forms. Like here in my Webflow website, I have created a form for registration. And as soon as a submission is done by any person, then in my monday.com board, which is form submission, an item will be created in this specific group. So we can automate this with the help of Pabli Connect. Let us quickly sign in into our account so that we will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli and we are going to use Pabli Connect to create this automation. Click on access now and that will take me to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here you will see a big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as create monday.com items for new webflow form submission. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you can see on your screen. You will notice the two major modules of Pabli Connect trigger an action on which the whole automation runs. Before that, I would like to remind you to open your applications that are supposed to be integrated. That is Webflow and Monday.com so that you can connect both of them to Pabli Connect and also perform the changes required for the workflow. Now, as the trigger says when this happens, an action says do this. This means that trigger will be the first application where the event will take place at the very first time. Like here, our trigger application is going to be Webflow because the form submission is what will start or trigger this complete workflow. And as soon as the trigger is done, the action application, which is monday.com, will create a item in the board. So this is our action application. Let us move ahead with the trigger. The trigger event, which will cause the change over here, is going to be new form submission instant. So it will trigger whenever a new form submission is received. Now here you will see when you click on connect, and add new connection. You are connecting Webflow and Pabli Connect for the reason that the form submission details will be brought over here as a response. So for that, you need an API token. Now how to get the API token from your Webflow account? You have to follow these instructions given over here. First of all, you have to type bearer. So you can simply copy the spelling from here so that you do not do any mistake. Give a space and then you have to enter this API token. For the API token, let us go to our site. On whichever site you're working, click on the settings of the site and then that will take you to this page where you can see integrations. Click on integrations, scroll down and you will find API access. So generate a new API token, copy this one, go back to your workflow and after you've given a space after bearer, paste this token. Click on save and here your connection will be done. Now see, because you have connected it with this specific site, the API access is given from this site. That is why it has automatically selected that site name, which is super cool over here. Now, when you click on save and send test request, it will look for a form submission, which means that we are supposed to fill up this form as well. So click on save and send test request, go back to your form and let us do a submission. This is the name of the person, email address and mobile number I've given. Click on submit and you will see that the form submission has been done. Go back to Pabli Connect and see it's waiting for a response and we have received a response. Now the name of the form is sign up form. The name of the person who just registered is this, the contact number and the email address is given over here. Now to be very clear that we have created the board in such a way that the name of the person, email address and contact can be filled over here. It is actually similar to the form fields that we have created. So now what is left is to transfer this data from one application to another. So we will now close this module and open our action window where we will select the action event, which is create item because the board is already created. The group is also cre already created and what is left is to create an item. So every time a new submission will be done here, a new person will be added. 
so click on connect now you are connecting monday.com to pably connect for the reason that you have received the form submission in your workflow in pably connect and now the data will be transferred from pably connect to monday.com so you are basically connecting it for that reason click on add new connection and again you need a token over here to connect your monday.com account to pably connect so for that we have to follow these instructions do not worry everything is provided to you in pably connect you need not learn anything just follow these help text given to you so log into your account we have already done that go to your avatar or your picture icon which is this over here here in administrations you will find api from the left menu given to you like here click on the button and if you want to copy the existing one fine but i would suggest that regenerate a new one so that it is a fresh api for your fresh workflow regenerate token now this is regenerated copy it go back and paste it over here click on save and your connection will be done using the api token will make it sure that this account is the only one where the connection is established now since it is done it has already selected the board name if you want to change the board name you can select it from here but we are working upon form submission only what is the group name webflow form and that is the one you have multiple groups over here so you can choose the correct group where you want to fill in the details now what is the item name since it is required we will fill the item name over here which is the main name called this all right name you can leave it empty because the first thing that it is not required second thing we have already given the item name the name of the person now in case of email address enter the email address from the drop down menu you will map this data now why is this mapping done so that every time a new data is arriving in the trigger response to you then this existing one will be changed by the new data so it will be a dynamic data and not static one and the contact will be so from this given drop down menu which is basically your trigger response you will map your mobile number as well this is done click on save and send test request and you will see that you will receive a response from monday.com now we have a data create item id now whenever an id is received in the response it is very clear that whatever we have given the action event for creation this id is a proof that that item is created now the item is created close this module and this is the workflow go back to monday.com and see the name of the person the email address and contact is here now let us do another form submission to check that is the workflow working or not so i will go back here and to my forms and this is my form again i will fill in the detail as name email address and mobile number click on submit and the form is submitted go back to your monday.com and see the name email and contact is here so which means that we have integrated webflow and monday.com in such a way that every form submission will be recorded over here and you do not need to look for emails or the website that where you will find these submissions all the details you have n number of fields you can create n number of columns in this group over here in monday.com and receive all the data right here so this was the whole workflow i hope this helped not just these applications but you can integrate many other applications using pably connect if you have any issue regarding pably you can email us at support@pably.com at you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com and if you have any doubts regarding our pricing then you can connect us through this given website if you found this video helpful in any way then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations we will meet in the next video till then do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel thank you